So we're going three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, V, four. Chaos Bank says minus six. You have got to be kidding me. Hello Arkham Horror fans, this is your game of the day. Remember that you can get in on the fun by heading over to SurveyMonkey.com, filling out the three quick questions and letting me know which investigators and scenarios you would like to see me play here on the channel, and I will do my very best to bring you those games. If you like this sort of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a great deal. Before we get started, I'd like to thank the patrons of this channel who have gone above and beyond to bring you content like these playthroughs. If you'd like to support the channel's goals and see your name on this list, head over to Patreon.com, sign up for a tier of your choice, and claim your rewards. That would be awesome. Without further ado, let's play some Arkham Horror LCG. On today's Game of the Day, we are kicking off a Return to the Forgotten Age campaign. Let Us Folk wanted to see me run through Return to the Forgotten Age with Winifred Habemock, the rogue investigator from the uh, Investigator Starter Decks. And I am happy to comply. I have not played uh, the Return to of the Forgotten Age yet, so this will be a uh, uh, learning experience for me. Uh, we are playing a deck built by Anti Markov Nikov called Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger over on uh, Arkham DB. Remember that uh, I will leave a link to the deck in the description if you'd like to go check it out and download it in order to play it on your tabletop of choice, or you can, uh, of course, build it with real cards and play it uh, on your table. This is a, uh, I guess you'd call it a, a retooling of the uh, Winifred Habemock starter deck, which uh, frankly isn't very good. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. This one uh, makes a bunch of changes to that deck and makes it, I think, a lot uh, much, much better. Uh, we have the uh, 25 automatic in there, from the Innsmouth Conspiracy, we've got Lockpicks, of course, Lucky Cigarette Case, Leather Jacket, Lonnie Ritter, and uh, Liquid Courage are our assets. We've got uh, one copy of I'm Outta Here, which will probably come in very handy during the uh, Doom of Estley. We have uh, two copies of Backstab, very slim events package, just the three events. Heavy on the skills, we have one copy of Watch This, of course, uh, Winifred's uh, signature skill, Anything You Can Do Better. Uh, we are going, her signature weakness, Arrogance, we've got two copies of Daredevil, two copies of Guts, two copies of Hatchet Man, two copies of Nimble, uh, two copies of Quick Thinking, and two copies of Unexpected Courage. Uh, rather than draw a, uh, a random weakness at the beginning of the campaign, we are going to go with Reckless, which was the weakness included in the Winifred Habemock starter deck. Now, I did make one change to uh, Anti Markovnikov's deck, and that was uh, it did have two copies of uh, You Handle This One, which, uh, of course, doesn't uh, do us any good in solo play, so I've replaced that with two copies of Perception. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with a little bit more investigation. So this should be an interesting, uh, an interesting campaign. Uh, just a, a quick note: I have not picked supplies for this campaign. Uh, one of my chief bugbears with this campaign is is sitting down at the beginning of it and going through the supplies. I think what I'm going to do is just pick the supplies as I use them. So if I uh, need the map and use the map, then I will uh, add that. To, I will count that against my supplies, etc., uh, etc. Et as we go through, and uh, perhaps after the uh, after the first scenario, I'll sit down and and work out what supplies I want. But uh, I prefer just to jump into the game and play without having to sit down and and go through all the supplies that I want to take. So probably bring some food along. That seems like a good idea to avoid the trauma. Probably is it the bedroll? The bedroll or the binoculars to gain the XP after uh, after the first scenario. So there are some pretty standard choices and uh, we will uh, I will make note of those later. Just a quick reminder that you can, of course, listen to these games as a podcast. If you prefer, head over to my blog at uh, thewhisperindarkness.blogspot.com. You can... Uh, uh, download the uh, the file there. Uh, you can also listen to it on the RSS feed, and it is available on uh, iTunes and 
Google Play. So enough uh, rambling. Let's jump over to Octagon and uh, get this game started. So we uh, are set up here. We are at the expedition camp. Now there are a couple changes to the rules for the return to uh, return to set. Uh, so when we built the exploration deck, we included only one of two locations with the, uh, the symbols, uh, the moon, the triangle, the square, and the heart. So I've done that. The other four were removed from the game. There are only five cards in the expedition deck at the beginning of the uh, beginning of the scenario. And then for the remainder of the scenario, uh, when we check supplies, if we use it, we can use the ability on the expedition camp from anywhere. So that might be uh, that might prompt us to use the map at some point. And uh, it has the forced effect. After a successful exploration ends, we shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into the exploration deck. So rather than fill the exploration deck full of treacheries at the beginning of the scenario, the uh, encounter cards slowly uh, drip into it as you uh, further explore the jungle. This will be my first time playing with that, so uh, we shall see how that goes. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, some of the, I think some of the locations have different uses of the uh, supplies and whatnot, so we will uh, choose them as we need them. And uh, I think we only have, what is it, 10 points or something like that. So we will uh, run out. So we are playing this on, uh, we are going to play this campaign on hard. I've sort of switched over to hard from standard. Uh, I was finding, beginning to find standard a little too, uh, a little too formulaic. So we're going to mix things up and go with hard. Just a quick reminder of the... Uh, Scenario card, the uh, skulls are minus X, where X is one higher than the number of vengeance points in the victory display, so that starts at minus one. The cultists, which uh, we have none in the bag currently, are minus X, where X is the number of locations in play, so that can be very, very high. Uh, the tablet is minus X. X is the number of cards in the exploration deck, minimum minus three. Uh, not, that is not in this, uh, the chaos bag either. And of course, the elder thing is a minus three. If you are poisoned, this test fails automatically. If you are not poisoned and you fail, put uh, the set aside poisoned weakness into your threat area. So ideally, we want to be at least uh, three up before the pull uh, during uh, tests, if at all possible, so we can avoid, uh, we don't want to get poisoned by the elder thing. We're ready to draw our opening hand, so let's do that now. See how we do to start things off. It's been a while since I played Winifred, so uh, we shall see. We got uh, two copies of Daredevil, a copy of Nimble, Perception, and uh, anything you can do better. Not a particularly inspiring hand off the bat, so let's, uh, I think we're going to mulligan all of it. Uh, except the, do we even mulligan the perception? Um, I think we keep the perception just in case we need to do, uh, since we can um, explore and then probably investigate. So if we have a perception, at least that's an option. So we'll draw four. We get the, uh, the leather jacket. We get the 25 automatic. We get another 25 automatic, and we get a backstab. So I was hoping to find some lock picks, but we uh, we did not. So uh, we shall be uh, we shall have to commit some cards to uh, hopefully draw some cards. Uh, again, Winnip Winifred's special ability is free triggered ability. If two different non weakness cards you control are committed, we get to draw a card. So uh, right now our hand, uh, we, we're pretty good for agility skill icons, but we could use another, uh, we could use some more um, intellect skill icons. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go to turn one. Let's gain our actions and uh, let's, uh, I guess we're going to, do we want the gun? That's the that's an interesting question, especially in this uh, particular uh, campaign, since uh, the vengeance display is an issue. Um, we could play the leather jacket for as a fast, um, but.
but we don't really need it at the moment. I think we'll play the gun. We will play the gun just as a uh, just to be safe. It has four ammo, so we can uh, when we attack an exhausted enemy, it gets better. Of course, Winifred having five agility that is uh, definitely something we can manage. So that'll be our first action. Let's go exploring. Let's shuffle up the exploration deck. And we are off to... Uh, we cannot go to the circuitous trail. Uh, we cannot go to the trail of the dead. But we see what we're getting. We are going to the rope bridge. So the uh, we drew the uh, the original... So now we have to shuffle a card from the encounter deck into the exploration deck. We successfully explored. So one of these cards goes in. Let's shuffle this deck just to make sure and we'll throw that in there and shuffle that up. We get to move to the rope bridge as part of the, as part of the exploration. And we will go to uh, the rope bridge. So two shroud location with one clue. Of course, we have a chance to fall off said rope bridge if, uh, if we fail. So let's go for an investigate here as our final action. We will commit the perception to go uh, three, four, five, V2. Chaos bag says, there's the elder thing right off the bat. So minus three. We were 5v2 though, so we pass. So we successfully grab this clue. And we draw a card for the perception. We get an unexpected courage. Okay, that's pretty good because we can com commit that to pretty much any skill test and uh, draw a card with Winifred. So we go up to the upkeep phase. We draw a second copy of Perception. It is turn two of uh, the game, one of six Doom. Our encounter card is going to be Voice of the Jungle. Oh dear, this is a bad one for Winifred. Uh, we At the end of our turn, if we did not successfully explore, we take a horror and we have to test three willpower to get rid of it. That is going to be pretty much impossible for Winifred to do. Uh, even on standard difficulty, hard I think will be uh, will be very hard indeed to get rid of that. So I think we will uh, well that's a tough that's a tough draw right off the bat. So if we if we don't keep moving or if we don't keep exploring, sorry, we're gonna be taking horror. So I think a timer just uh, the timer is set on this uh, on this game. All right, let's go to our turn, get our actions back, and we might as well start exploring again. So if you fail, we cancel the exploration if we fall off the rope bridge. So we have to pass a willpower or a, an agility to skill test. We're going 5v2. I think I'm happy with that. Chaos bag gives us a minus two, so we pass. So we have a, we are allowed to explore. We get, oh dear. So we fail the exploration. Um, this does not, so the rope bridge does not trigger, but we fail the exploration and we draw the boa constrictor, a bad enemy to see right off the bat. Very easy to evade though fortunately. So I think what we do, we are going, uh, second action, we will try to evade the boa constrictor. We, uh, so we did not, we have not successfully explored for Voice of the Jungle, so that is a problem. Uh, but we need to evade the boa constrictor, or we kill the boa constrictor. It's Vengeance 2, 
So if we evade it, we would be attacking 5v, 5v4 for two damage. That's not particularly good. So I don't know if we will be attacking this guy. Uh, let's evade him. We're going 5v2 as our second action. Chaos Bag gives us a zero, so the uh, the nasty Boa Constrictor is uh, is evaded. That's a tough, tough pull for this early in the game. Let's explore again, otherwise we're going to take a horror. So we only shuffle in something uh, during a successful exploration, so that's good. Uh, so let's go exploring again. We find the river canyon. We get to move to it. And I think that's it. We shuffle a card into the exploration deck. And off we go. So with the river canyon, of course, we can heal the damage. If we have a canteen, we can heal two additional damage. I'm not too worried about the canteen, to be honest. Uh, so I don't think we'll be taking that as one of our uh, one of our provisions. Unfortunately, that took our turn. We failed to explore. We evaded the boa constrictor and explored again. So we have satisfied Voice of the Jungle for this turn. Uh, and we will go right to upkeep. We draw, there are our lock picks. Very nice to see those. We will need those down on the table for sure. And uh, I think that's it. So we're going to go to turn three, two of six doom. We draw arrows from the trees. We take one damage plus one additional damage for each ally. Uh, and that's it. So we just take a damage. All right, we go to our turn. Let's add our actions. We go, we can play. We have the boa constrictor to worry about now. Um, so we, and we need to explore successfully. So I think we only have one clue. We're going to need two more clues. Um, I think we can play the lock picks, explore. Play the lock picks, grab this clue, explore will be our plan this turn. So we will play the lock picks. So we only get one action. These are the level zero lock picks, of course. So we have to exhaust them. We get to add our agility skill value for this investigation. If you do not succeed by at least two, we discard the lock picks. So we're going to go, uh, that was our first action. Second action, we will investigate. We are going. Uh, 8v4. Um, I would love to be able to draw a card, but we will need to deal with Ichitaka as well. I feel like given, given Voice of the Jungle and the Boa Constrictor, we are going to need to talk to Ichitaka rather than... Uh, rather than kill her. So let's commit the unexpected courage. We will exhaust the lock picks. So we're going um, 8, 9, 10 v4. Chaos bag throws us a minus three. So we're seven v4. So we do succeed by two. So we do not have to discard the lock picks. So that is good. We have one action remaining. Now, as long as we can stay ahead of the boa, we're okay. I don't really want to take damage and horror from him when he hunts to attack us. Uh, because exhausted cards cannot ready. We have to, uh, but we have to explore. We have to keep moving because Voice of the Jungle will be bad for us. So we draw the Riverside Temple. That is definitely an option for us. This is one of the new cards in the Return to set. So we move away. Uh, the boa cannot get to us here, thank goodness. Riverside Temple, one shroud location with one clue. After any number of clues are discovered at the temple, check your supplies. If no investigator ha has chalk, 
shuffle an equal number of cards from the top of the encounter deck into the exploration deck. So we have the option here. We can, if we want to use one of our supplies to take the chalk, we can. Um, we won't have to shuffle a card in. Otherwise, we will. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. The boa constrictor hunts. We go to upkeep. We did satisfy voice of the jungle. We get hatchet man. Now this one might actually help us take out the boa constrictor. This skill test is successful during an evasion. The next time the evaded enemy takes damage, we can deal it an additional damage. Yeah, that uh, we can easily evade the boa constrictor, but even if we shoot it with hatchet man, um, we're only doing three damage, so we'd still have to take two shots to kill it, which is problematic. All right, let's go to uh, turn four. We will draw our encounter card, which will be uh, the best laid plans. This is one of the new treacheries. Peril, you must either choose one, lose two actions, or shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into the exploration deck. Wow. Um, neither is a particularly good option. Uh, losing two actions, however, will cost us two horror. So that's rough. So I think we have to shuffle. I think we have to shuffle a card. Chan I mean, odds are we end up um, not successfully exploring and we take two horror anyway. Or we have to go back and deal with the, uh, the boa constrictor. But uh, we need to do something here. Man, the boa constrictor is rough. First turn, or well, I guess he was in the exploration deck. So, uh, so we have uh, Riverside Temple. That would mean shuffling another encounter card into the deck. This would give us our third clue. However. That would mean we would run into a Chitaka, and we're not really in a good position to do that at the moment. I think we we may have to deal with this Boa Constrictor. We may... do we have enough cards to do it? Uh, actually, we have the Hatchet Man Backstab combo which would be better for us. Um, we evade. We evade with Hatchet Man and then backstab the the uh, the Boa Constrictor. In order, if we ha if we hatchet man at first, we can deal four damage in one shot, which is better. We only have one resource, though. Shoot, that's a problem. Um, not a lot of great options here. Uh, I think what we do, let's grab this clue first, because we have. We have four of the five locate. Uh, no, we've got three of the five locations that started in there. So we have two encounter cards in the deck. Let's investigate first. Uh, we will exhaust the lock picks. So we are going eight v one. I think that's okay. Chaos Bag throws us a minus three, so we do grab this clue, but unfortunately we have to shuffle a card. Uh, we have to shuffle a card, an encounter card, into the, the uh, exploration deck. Okay, so exploration, there are two locations and three encounter cards in the deck. That is not going to work for us. The odds are not in our favor of investigating successfully or exploring successfully, sorry. So I think we, 
do we just delay? Um, man, that, that boa is a big problem. We can move back. We could, we could move back to River Canyon and I think we move back to the River Canyon, engage the boa and try to evade it. We're going to go 5v2, get a minus one. So it is evaded. However, we did not explore, so we take a horror. I think what we need to do here is delay, delay a couple turns to get the resources for backstab. And then we have the option of, we have a, uh, we don't even have a decent shot of killing Ichitaka. Um, because she, I believe, is, I'm not sure what her combat is, but it's it's high. Um, all right, well, that's going to do it for our turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. We draw an unexpected courage. Okay, well, that is helpful. Um, so we have the option now to advance if we want but that gets us Ichitaka and the boa we could parlay with Ichitaka we have perception and unexpected courage we'd be going three four five six seven 7v, is it 4? Yeah, I think we advance. I'm not crazy about having Ichitaka and the Boa, but if we can parlay with Ichitaka using the Perception and the Unexpected Courage, then we can try to backstab the Boa with the Hatchet Man uh, backstab combo. We'll have enough, re enough resources to do that. Uh, so let's let's give it a shot here. Uh, we're in a we're in a tight spot um, just because of this boa. So we are going to advance. So we put the set aside Ichitaka into play at the lead enemy investigator's location. Shuffle encounter discard pile into deck. So there's only one card in the encounter discard pile. That uh, actually the uh, best laid plans was in there too. So let's shuffle that in. Let's go get Ichitaka. Chitaka shows up. She's a parlay four. Man, that's rough. Uh, we'd be seven v four, <clears throat> which is at least minus three. All right. Well, we are going to. Uh, we've done everything for the advancement. So the curse, uh, the huntress of Estli. We have to uh, if we defeat her or. Oh, we don't have any clues. Or do we just place a clue on her? Yeah, from the token bank. Okay, that was good. I had a bit of a heart attack there for a sec. Um, so that's going to be that. We go to the Mythos phase. It is turn five, four of six doom. We draw another best laid plans. Oh, okay. Uh, we can't afford to lose two actions or we are just going to get mulched here by enemies. So we're shuffling another card into the, uh, with each card that goes into that in, that exploration deck, we uh, are in that much more trouble with uh, Voice of the Jungle. All right, so we go to our turn. It is, we get our three actions. We are going to have to uh, parlay with Ichitaka. So we are going to... Uh, commit the perception and the unexpected courage to draw a card. We get a daredevil. Um, I don't think we have a per do we have a, a rogue skill? I can't remember. 
Let's uh, take a look here quickly. I just want to see whether we actually have a rogue skill that... Uh, I guess we've got quick thinking could do it. Or anything I could, anything you can do. Um, we could wipe out our, just worried. We're only seven V. This is a pretty important test and we're only going three, four, five, six, seven. 7v4 doesn't give us a lot of room. I think we play Daredevil here. So after we commit Daredevil, we discard cards until we discard a rogue skill we can commit. Uh, so we are discarding like a madman. There go all our guts. Uh, that is not a rogue skill that we can't commit. That is not a rogue skill. We draw a quick thinking, okay. So we mow through some of our deck, nine cards left in our are the, in the deck. So we pick up a quick thinking. So theoretically we pass this by two, we get another action, which would be excellent. So we're going three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, V, four. Chaos Bank says, Minus six. You have got to be kidding me. Minus six. Nine V four. There were only two tokens in the bag that could have killed us. And that was one of them. Nine V six. So we fail. Wow. Just, wow, that's, what can you do? That's, that's RNG for you. I mean, you just, uh, we did what we could and uh, we ended up uh, not getting very far with that. So uh, if we fail, Ishtaka attacks us. So that is a big, that's a game changer right there. I'm not sure if we, uh, if we are able to get out of this scenario now. Um, I guess we evade. Uh, we try to evade Ichaka. Like we could try to kill her with the backstab hatchet combo. Unfortunately, we don't have the combat to do that. Uh, let's evade Ichitaka. Uh, we're going 5v4. Uh, um, is it once per round or once per test? Once per test. So I could commit Hatchet Man and the gun to, um, but then I'd have to shoot, I'd have to backstab her this turn. Um, yeah, I think we... What are our odds? I mean, this is the problem playing on hard is that the odds are not in our favor. If we commit Hatchet Man and the automatic, we're going 7v4, which is okay. We draw a card, but then the follow up with the backstab, we don't even have the resources, so that's not even a plan. So. Um, I think we, oh man, um, what do we do here? Like evading the boa constrictor seems easy enough. We can go 
5v2 to easily evade the boa constrictor, but then we'd have to still evade a Chitaka or we're taking two damage and a horror. Or do we just set up this turn? Since we can play backstab next turn. I think we just have to, man, we're gonna have to weather this. We're gonna have to weather this turn. So let's evade the boa constrictor because that's, we can do that. We have a better, we have better odds of evading the boa constrictor. So we're going five V two. Chaos bag gives us a minus two. So we have evaded the boa constrictor. Man. The RNG in this game sometimes can just... Only two tokens in the bag that could have got us, and we uh, we draw a minus six. That's pretty low odds of that happening, but uh, it is what it is. Now, she has alert and retaliate, though. That's, that's brutal. That is brutal. So we could either, f we could take the test at really bad odds and fail it and end up taking four damage this turn. Or we just, we don't do anything with our final action and take two damage and then try next turn to deal with her. I think that's what we have to do. Um, Going 5v4 is just not a good option at, at this difficulty. Especially if we miss. If I was going 7v4, I would be okay with it, but the problem is we'd have to basically commit everything that we can to, to deal with her. So I'm gonna just forego my, fi my final action. I'm gonna take two damage during the enemy phase and we're going to hope, okay, we got a quick thinking. That's better. Um, so we go to upkeep. We get a quick thinking. Man, we would have had an extra action this. We would have gotten rid of Ichitaka and had an extra action this turn if that had not happened. We have to take a horror from the voice of the jungle. I mean, we are at the river canyon. We could use the canteen. Uh, so it is turn six, five of six doom. Encounter card is another enemy. Look at this. Uh, worst case scenario in, in motion here. Okay, well. This is really not an auspicious start to a campaign. This may be a one and done here. Um, okay, well, we've got the Boa Constrictor and the Pit Viper to deal with. Uh, and Ichitaka. So let's try to deal with Ichitaka first. So we were going to go Hatchet Man. 25 automatic uh, for the evade. We draw a card. We get an I'm out of here. Okay, that could save us. So we're going five, six, seven, seven v four. I think we've just got to go 7v4 and then backstab. We'd be going uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 for 4 damage. 7v4. I think the game is on the line here. Chaos bag. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, apparently, 
Ichtaka and Winifred will agree to disagree. Uh, that is another minus six. So, what can you do about that? I wouldn't, even if I had committed, um, would that have been, if I had committed the I'm out of here, I would have been at uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four. Still wouldn't have been enough. Still wouldn't have been enough. I think this is just the case that the hard difficulty uh, has come back and hit us very, very hard indeed. Uh, we failed two tests against Ishtaka, and because we were attempting to evade her, she has retail alert, so we take two damage. Um, and we're dead this round. Wow, that was fast. That was a fast game. We cannot, we cannot evade them. We don't have enough actions left to evade all three of them. Uh, and we're going to take a damage. So, so that's it. Wow. Oh, no, we can't get out of it. Look at that. Uh, so we play. <laughs> so the best thing we can do is play I'm out of here to resign. Wow, that's terrible. The wilds are too dangerous, apparently, today. So we play I'm out of here to resign. And... Oh, no, we have to be... Yeah, play only if there's a scenario card with the resign ability in play. We play uh, I'm out of here to resign. So that turned out to be a very good draw indeed. So... Winifred, Winifred does not like the jungle, apparently. I thought Winifred would be ideal for the jungle, given her five agility, but the jungle had other things in mind. Drawing voices, uh, voice of the jungle right off the bat, that's bad, because we have basically no way of breaking it. Didn't hurt us too much in the end. We only took two horror from it, but it does put a fire under your uh, butt. But yeah, we we gambled that we could deal with Ichtaka and the, the Boa Constrictor, and the Chaos Bag had other ideas. We drew a minus six, um, which would have been fine, uh, which was terrible because then we ended up getting uh, attacked by Ichtaka and we didn't we instead of getting rid of her then we have an enemy to deal with and then of course we attempted to go for an evasion against her and then drew another minus six and that was that and we had no choice to resign so I am sorry lettuce folk this was not uh, this did not go quite the way I planned now I'm not too sure what this has uh, what this does in terms of the campaign so we will I guess uh, I will check the campaign log and see where we stand and uh, add enough uh, I guess I'll put in some we'll spend the experience we'll deal with the interlude and then uh, we will see where we stand going into the next uh, the next scenario wow that's the fastest game of untamed wilds I have ever played uh, hard was uh was extremely hard this time around this is going to be your game of the day uh unfortunately not a great one for winifred uh if you uh enjoy this type of content make sure you uh, mash that uh, like button it helps out the channel a great deal remember you can check out anti markov markov nakov's deck at uh arkham db I think the deck is uh, excellent, despite its uh, relatively poor showing here. There's only so much you can do when you're drawing minus sixes on key tests. Uh, and uh, make sure if you'd uh, like to listen to this as a podcast, head over to my blog. The uh, link is in the description down below. 
you can uh, either download there so you can listen at your leisure you can sign up for the rss feed uh, and then uh, it's uh, these games are also available on uh, your itunes or uh, google podcast depending on uh, your preference that's going to do it for me today i hope that you enjoyed this game uh, i hope that you enjoyed me suffering in this game and uh, I will be back uh, hopefully tomorrow with another game of the day. Until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day and uh, take care out there. That's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there and happy investigating. <laughs>